Safeway is an American supermarket chain that started in 1915. Thank you for your suggestions. Safeway delivers low prices by the truckload. Low prices throughout the store. Low prices on Safeway's famous quality meats. On farm fresh produce. On national and Safeway brands and more. Shop Safeway today and save. We've given low prices a great day. The history of Safeway can be traced back to two somewhat different grocers, Sam Selig and Marion Skaggs. Both came from two very different parts of the country. In 1911, Samuel Selig opened his first store at 1307 South Figueroa Street in Los Angeles. Five years later, Selig had 15 stores in the city, mostly south of downtown and a warehouse on Palmetto Street. The chain had grown to over 100 stores by 1922, and Selig had established a real estate concern to handle the growing company's needs. The rapid growth proved problematic for Selig over the next three years, however, and in 1925, control of the company and its 270 stores passed to its distributor and largest creditor, W.R.H. Weldon. On March 15, 1925, the Los Angeles Times noted that the change in management and announced that the company would now be known as the Safeway Stores, Incorporated, and that Selig withdrew to follow other pursuits. Selig stayed with the new company for some time to manage his retail operations, but that Weldon was extremely distrustful of him and was anxious to sell off the company and return to wholesaling. Marion B. Skaggs followed a somewhat less urban path, opening his first grocery in American Falls, Idaho, in 1915. Marion's father, S. M. Skaggs, had opened an 18 by 32 foot store in American Falls, Idaho, called Skaggs, and he sold groceries for cash at the time of sale. Skaggs was also against the prevailing high-cost system of the grocer having clerks serving all the needs of each customer. He was an early proponent of the self-service concept. Items were kept within the customer's reach on shelves that hugged the walls with aisles clear for customers to walk comfortably. Customers picked up baskets as they entered the store, selected what they wanted from the shelves, and paid for their purchases at the checkout counter. Despite his zeal, Skaggs could not make his store particularly profitable, so in 1915, he sold it to his son, Marion, M.B. Skaggs. With the help of his brothers, M.B. Skaggs expanded the business. By 1920, 191 Skaggs cash grocery stores were operating in Idaho and Montana. Oscar P. Skaggs, one of M.B. Skaggs' brothers, split from the Skaggs Cash Grocery Company and established a chain of Skaggs cash stores in Idaho, Nevada, and California. Both enterprises merged in 1919, forming Skaggs United Stores. By 1926, he was running a chain of 428 grocery stores throughout California and the Pacific Northwest. With WRH Weldon assuming control of the 265 Sam Selig stores, in 1925 a contest was held to rename the company, with a Safeway submission being the winner. In 1926, Charles Merrill, one of the founders of Merrill Lynch, was looking to expand his investment firm's involvement in the retail chain store business. In 1926, an investment group organized by Merrill Lynch and Company purchased 80% of the outstanding stock on Safeway stores for $3.5 million. Merrill asked the president of Safeway, James Weldon, who the best man to run the new venture was. Weldon named M.B. Skaggs as his only choice, and soon Skaggs had been persuaded to add his chain of 428 stores to Safeway's 240. 
On November 11, 1926, Skaggs surrendered control of his company for $1.5 million in cash, plus 30,000 shares of the new company's stock. He was also named CEO. Three incorporated divisions were formed. Skaggs Safeway Stores in Oakland would operate in Northern and Central California, and Safeway Stores in Los Angeles was charged with stores in Southern California. Safeway Stores Reno ran units in Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, and Wyoming. Safeway had 1,079 stores and was the largest supermarket chain west of the Mississippi. During 1928, stores were bought in Phoenix, El Paso, Maryland, Virginia, and the District of Columbia. In 1929, chains in Tulsa, Salt Lake City, and Vancouver, Canada were obtained. By 1930, there were 2,691 stores, 2,538 in the United States, and 153 in Canada. The largest acquisition involved the Los Angeles McMar chain, which was bought in 1931. At this time, the corporate headquarters was in Reno, Nevada. It was moved to Oakland, California in 1942. In 1946, there were 2,413 Safeway units in 23 states, the District of Columbia, and five Canadian provinces. After the war, Safeway shared in the economic explosion that the United States, and particularly the West, experienced. Soldiers returning from the Pacific Theater liked what they saw of the West Coast, and by 1947, they made up a third of Safeway's workforce and helped the firm reach $1 billion in sales. The famous S insignia, adopted in 1952, could be seen on vast new warehouses in most Western states. By the mid-1940s, Safeway began to private label with these house brand products. By the time Safeway introduced its new logo in 1952, Safeway stores were operating a total of 1,954 units in Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, Idaho, Iowa, Kansas, Maryland, Missouri, Mississippi, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Oklahoma, Oregon, South Dakota, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Washington State, and DC. During the 1950s, existing stores were being remodeled and enlarged with self-service meat departments, fluorescent lighting, refrigerated produce equipment, and air conditioning installed. Newly built stores of the era encompassed 18,000 to 24,000 square feet. A panoramic view of a 1950 Safeway store shows spacious aisles stocked with just about everything imaginable. Walls are painted with subtle pastel colors that highlight the merchandise and provide eye appeal. This ultra-modern arched roof Safeway was built in San Francisco and welcomed shoppers in 1959. It was the first in a series of marina stores. In 1960, the company was operating 2,000 units in 28 states. Stores in Alaska and Louisiana had recently been opened. In 1966, the company reached its 40th anniversary and it proudly announced that it had achieved $3 billion a year in sales. In 1972, Safeway surpassed the Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, AMP, as the world's largest food retailing chain. In 1971, Safeway was among the first to adopt the practice of labeling ground beef by fat content rather than by weight alone, continuing the firm's tradition of supplying consumers with all of the facts they needed to make a purchasing decision. By 1982, the company maintained 1,769 stores in 27 states and the District of Columbia. The chain rejected a hostile takeover in July of 1986 and was sold to a New York City's Kohlberg Kravis Robertson Company for $4.3 billion. Saddled with enormous debt after the buyout, $5.7 billion worth, Safeway was forced to streamline its operations and sell a large number of its stores to reduce the crushing interest burden it had assumed. 
In 1987, Safeway sold its 59 grocery stores in Texas and New Mexico and its entire Oklahoma division. The streaming of Safeway ended in 1988 when the firm divested its Kansas City and Little Rock divisions and part of its Richmond division, sold its 99 Houston area stores, and for all you guys out in Southern California, sold its 162 store Southern California division to Vaughn's company. By selling a total of around 1,100 stores for $2.4 billion, Safeway was able to slash its debts while losing assets that created only $50 million in profits a year after taxes. During the 90s, Safeway was still saddled with a fairly high debt load and had to face a most difficult competitive environment, an economic downturn and increasing pricing pressures from the growing number of discounters and warehouse clubs. Over the next several years, Safeway concentrated on three main priorities, slashing costs, increasing sales, and reducing debt. By 1996, Safeway was operating 1,052 Safeway stores. During the late 1990s, Safeway would go on an acquisition spree by purchasing Vons, Dominic's Finer Foods, Randall's, and in 2001, purchased the Gennardi's grocery chain. The new acquisitions didn't go over too well with customers outside the West Coast market. Safeway would launch a $100 million brand repositioning campaign labeled Ingredients for Life in 2005. In 2012, the company dissolved or sold off many of the Gennardi locations. In 2013, Safeway made the decision to close and sell its remaining Dominic stores in the Chicago area by early 2014. On January 30, 2015, the merger between Safeway and Albertsons occurred. As part of the merger, grocery chain Hagen announced it would buy 146 Vons, Albertsons, and Pavilion stores across Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, and Arizona as part of the anti-monopoly requirements following the merger. On January 11, 2016, it was announced that the three remaining Albertsons stores in Florida would be rebannered as Safeway but that would later be abandoned. Other Albertson stores in various markets have been rebranded as Safeway, including Denver and Seattle. Safeway stores are still around in the Bay Area and in Northern California. Being from Southern California, it is like a blast from the past when I went into one of those stores last year. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.